Today you're going to see a great update on my green stock, which is my vertical growing system. It's uh, mid-September, system or the season's just starting to wind down, and I just really wanted to give you an update. A lot of things worked, a few things didn't, which were my fault, not the green stock. So let's go row by row, and I'm going to show you what worked and what didn't, and why, and what I'm going to do next year with it. Okay, the first row I put in kale. Okay, look what's left of the kale. Guess who got to it? I don't know who got to it, but I'm guessing rabbits, anybody that's short, possibly squirrels, but if it was squirrels, they would have climbed up and eaten everything. I think it's the rabbits. They came from the very beginning. I put these little kale plants in all the way around, and they just can't, I can't keep them growing because somebody's eating them. So that's a, one of the, the downfalls of how I planted it was I did not have any more fenced area. Like my garden was all jam-packed. All my gardens were jam-packed. So I took a chance thinking only the deer might get to it. Well, the deer didn't get to it, but somebody got to it. They also got to this row. And at the end, you're going to hear how the company has uh, solved this problem. Very exciting. So this row was sugar snap peas. <laughs> You can see there are no sugar snap peas. Here is a little uh, carcass of sugar snap peas. So those got eaten off. They maybe made it about 10, 12 inches down, and then they all got nibbled off, and they ate them just like little pieces of candy. Rabbits. I'm just sure. Possibly groundhogs, maybe mold, uh, gophers, anybody that could just get on their back two legs and read those, or eat those. So that was my first two rows. But... My plan with the strawberries worked. So let's jump up. I'll do the strawberries last. Okay, the next one was my lettuces. These two rows were lettuces. I have They have worked gloriously. You're seeing it at the end of the summer. So it looks kind of pitiful, but why? Because I'm seed saving. Of course, I've let them go to seed and they're very close to being ready. Let me focus for you. They're just beautiful seed pods. You can see that one, that one, that one. I've got seed pods everywhere because I grow a lot of lettuce, put it in smoothies, and eat a lot of salads, put it in my sandwiches. So you can see this lettuce here from this level, which was the third level up, when I let it go to seed, look how tall, unbelievable. That's like four feet tall to the seed pod. So I'll be pulling those pods in this next week here. So very happy with the lettuce. I ate a ton of it, um, perfect level. I suspect if I put the lettuce down there, the same critters that got that would eat they'll have eaten they would have eaten anything down in these two rows okay so the next row was my final row one mistake I made which was putting brussels sprouts in here I had never grown brussels sprouts I kind of had the general idea but I had no idea they needed so much space so this was way too small in my opinion for Brussels sprouts. They never got any sprouts. They grow along the stem like that. They're not going to. I'm going to leave it in here probably till November, till, you know, it's really cold, but I don't think I'm going to get any, I'm, I know I'm not going to get any sprouts there, but a lot of people, I'm telling you, a lot of people throw the leaves out, which is cray cray if you ask me. You should be eating these leaves. Every one of them, they're perfect in salads, stir fry, sandwiches. So I come out here every few days and I pick out some of the leaves out of the middle and I'm eating the Brussels sprouts as a leaf plant, not a Brussels sprout plant. So in general, I've been very happy having that, you know, different taste, the good nutrition of the cruciferous vegetable of the Brussels sprout. So it's not a real bust. I ended up getting greens out of it, so I'm happy. Okay, never again, though, in this, I think that there's just not enough space for it, unless I want to do them for leaves again. But my favorite part is the strawberries. I put in two strawberry seedlings that I bought at our organic plant sale back in May. This one was, what was this one called? Galetta. Okay, this thing put out a ton of runners, not single berry, but my plan worked exactly perfectly. I figured the runners would come out of the plant, come down here, and then I could plant them here, and plant them here, and plant them, and literally, they, ha they are so intuitive, Mother Nature, so miraculous. These, these runners, let me see if I could find one for you here. They self-planted themselves. That's redundant, but you get me. They made little babies, like that one right there, and they found their way into the soil. I guarantee you, I did not plant a single one. Maybe one, or I came by and kind of pushed it in the soil and helped it, but they found their way in. So a lot of these runners, I'm guessing all those right there were runners that seeded, and now they're into full-grown plants. I've cut uh, the runners that went to them, and they are on their own. 
Um, they're just doing outstanding. I'm guessing 20 or 30 new plants that have gone. Sometimes I let a couple of them, two, three, four of them go into one little uh, area there. So a lot of them are still attached because they do grow better when they're attached. But I'm getting ready to cut them off. And I'm, I'll tell you at the end what I'm going to do with it. So i got two things to tell you at the end. Okay, and then my last one. This is my absolute favorite thing of the summer. Well, I have a million favorite things. But it's this particular strawberry is called Seascape. Again, I bought it as a plant. I did not winter sow it, but I'm sure going to this year. Seascape. This is, I guess they call everbearing instead of June bearing. There's another name for it, but I can't think of it right now. June bearing, all the berries come in June, so then you can make your jellies, and they kind of all come at once, and then there's no berries the rest of the time, which I think that Galetta and my Alpine strawberries, they must be June bearing because I haven't gotten anything from them uh, and, except for this one. But this one has been giving me <laughs> one or two strawberries every day or two. It just, it just keeps going months and months and months of the same plant putting out these little strawberries. And the seeds are so profoundly uh, pronounced. Well, let's see if I can get that focus. See how big and dark those seeds are? You can just flick them off with your thumbnail or your fingernail onto a piece of paper and let them dry. And you can actually grow strawberries from seeds. So I did that a lot with these strawberries. And of course, I ate the berry after I took all the seeds off. And I'm going to be winter sowing the seascape strawberry in the milk jugs this winter. And my goal is to have all seascape strawberries. I'm planting some. I'm going to try and overwinter them this year. I'm taking them in my sunroom, in with my peppers that I overwintered, and keep them alive. You can also keep them alive in the snow, but sometimes some of mine died last year. I had them all mulched and covered, but they still didn't make it. So didn't get any runners from this one. They all have different personalities and different amounts of runners they make and don't make. So I'm going to have to go from seed and I may see runners next year. I may even come in and split this. It's such a nice healthy plant into two. Um, so anyway, still experimenting what I'm going to do and I may just buy a couple more. But my goal next year is to have this be all strawberries and some lettuces. And I'll experiment because the lettuce has just been outstanding. Can't emphasize that enough. Now, the, the two things I were going to tell you, I already forgot the second one. The first one is the company is just coming out with a giant cover. They're going to get a big cover that covers this whole thing. And I'm imagining it's kind of like a mesh cover. I don't think it's out yet, but they emailed me and told me that, because I had said, hey, you guys, have you ever thought of putting on a cover? Because, you know, my lower two levels got eaten up. And they said they couldn't believe I'd asked for it because they actually had it in the works. And that was about a month ago. So the gals over at Greenstock, they have that coming. I am so excited about it. So that way you'll be able to put everything in, either whatever it's zip it or drawstring it or whatever it is. The animals can't get to it. So the second thing I was going to tell you is what I was going to do with it next year, which I already did. And that is I'm going to get their cover the minute they have it. And if, if they have it, I'll have a link down at the bottom of this uh, so you can get your green stock. And if you buy it with my link, they let me give you an extra $10 off. So make sure you use my link, which is Veggie Love. And you'll see it down there. You type it in the last page when you buy it, Veggie Love. And they'll give you $10 off. And then I'll let you know if the cover's out yet. So I, I like this so much. I'm going to move it inside, like I said, to the sum room for the winter and try and keep everything alive. I'm even going to plant new um, lettuce and play around in the winter. with. The, I've got five months of it in the sunroom. So I'll have more videos for you as I figure out more fun ways to use it. But this baby is going to be a strawberry and lettuce. Maybe even all strawberries. I don't know. I'm just so excited because when I grew my strawberries up here in my growing tubs, the squirrels and chipmunks just laughed at me and, and they ate them all. I mean, they, they ate them all. I got maybe two or three out of them. But on this one, somehow they haven't figured out what I have going on up here. Don't tell them. I got strawberries growing here. So that's why I'm so excited. So I may even keep this inside permanently in my sunroom and then buy another one to have out here with the cover on it. I don't know. So anyway, the green stock I think is awesome. Um, any questions you have about it, drop down on the bottom and watch. Oh, and if you haven't seen my original video, when I put this thing together, I had a lot of uh, blunders and flubs and it's kind of funny. So make sure you watch that one. I'll have a link down below so you can watch that video as well. Anyway, whew, had a lot to tell you today. Thank you so much for being with me. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you for being with me. Sending you much love from my garden to yours. Bye-bye.